We got another video to react to Mount Rushmore of Hate More. All right, bro, look, we're back with another installment of Hate More. Today's yeah. episode of Hate More is a special case. Because for okay. the first time in Hate More history, okay. we have a real life person. This moment shall be known throughout the entirety of history as Kendrick Lamar has achieved the honor, or, or dishonor, whatever you want to claim it as, to be the first human on Hate More. And not only that, okay. but we have the boy Squidward. Yes, it pains me. Squidward is a man after my own heart, but you okay. guys won, or so you think. But without further ado, I present to you hating ass is All right, so we got Kendrick, Darth Vegan, I forget his name from Johnny Test, Squidward, and um Gideon, okay, from uh Gravity Falls. Let's see. Now Gideon, that's a hating ass 100%. Gideon is a a hating ass. Gideon is a hating ass. Let's um let's let's see if the rest of these I, Square was a bit of a hater too. We all know about we all know about about Kendrick Lamar, but I don't remember the vegan nigga really being a hater. Part A. Oh, it's an A part series. Okay. We're gonna have to check. Oh wait, I didn't even know I had a gifted because I was gone. Just me, quitter. Thank you for the gifted twin. I'm sorry I was not here to see that and protect, protect, and say thank you for that. Ah, uh, please say. All right, let's get, let's get the intro. Other than Kendrick, of course. Now, when this Drake beef started, everything was hunky dory. Not gonna lie. Kendrick, okay. this Drake, and J Cole. Mother f the big three. It's just big me. The bum. J Cole responded and deleted it. Bruh. And then decided to back out. To which the internet, with hindsight, thought was for the best. But Drake came clapping back. And at that time, I thought it was just friendly banter. You know, it was great. We loved it. We yeah. love rap. And then Kendrick dropped you for it. This man yeah. just starts going in. He said, I hate the way you walk. I hate the way you talk. I hate the way you dress. This man even says, I, I ain't gonna lie, bro. If I be completely honest in this complete beef with, with Kendrick, Drake lost. And I ain't gonna say Drake lost because of the music wise and things of that nature. Drake lost because Drake was the most or one of the most streamed rappers okay kendrick was nowhere near him numerically when it came to monthly listeners on stream and well since then kendrick has in fact surpassed aubrey graham and in that and that list alone and that one thing alone at that point he won he won the beef at that he won the beef at that point it doesn't matter if any of the allegations or anything like that was true and that man who was nowhere near the monthly listeners as you surpassed you he has won the beef that i am not the one who makes the rules the rules were made Hating the women you fuckers they think they're real women after that i was like oh shit th this is getting real now um yeah I, I was not prepared for this but this man did not stop there bro. and then this man drops meet the grand as a response to drake's family Matter. And that's when the real hating started. This man addressed his son, his mom, his dad, and a daughter that we didn't know that existed. That entire that also did not exist. Let's be honest, he did he did not exist. Our track was just hatred incarnate. Like, bro, never have I seen a man pull out a track just spewing pure hatred, and but Kendrick managed to do it. This man. Nah, nah. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. But to say there's no one who put out a track that spewed more hatred. To say that is a bit of a stretch because we have the most iconic diss line of all time. I don't care what nobody says. That line right there. The craziest line of all time to start a rap song. Okay? In that line alone, to say that Kendrick's view more hate than that one line is a little bit of a stretch. A little bit of a stretch. That nigga Tupac said, that's why I fucked your bitch. You fat motherfucker. This is coming from a friend. That's extra hurt. Come on, bro. And it's like, I hate this nigga, and I hope he dies. At that point, everybody's mouth was just on the floor like, hey, yo, bro, I thought this was this some serious? nice rap beef. What? This nigga genuinely hates Drake. Like, bro, it's not even funny how much this nigga does. He do like, hate him. He bro, do hate he him. Drop meet the Grams like minutes after Drake dropped his song. Like, bro, I can't imagine this nigga just ominously sitting in the studio waiting for Drake. To and then Drake, Drake didn't even come back, bro. Drake was like, ah, yeah, no, this was fun. Da da da. I'm like, bro, really, really, if you gonna do this, do it. Commit to the, commit to the bit. Hey, appreciate the follow, gang. <laughs> Do you know how much you gotta hate a nigga to just sit there waiting for them to drop a song so you can come back? But not even gonna lie to you, after Kendrick dropped Not Like Us, I feel like it was over after that. Cause the main complaints for Kendrick was that 
he couldn't make a hit. And his diss tracks put people to sleep. And like I said earlier, this nigga was stewing in the studio and dropped this banger called Not Like Us. That shit had everybody dancing, bro. They was already playing that bit in the club. That bit had streamers dancing to it. Guy Sinat was even throwing up gang signs. Never have I seen a track made of pure hatred. It really I ain't gonna lie. Not Like Us was a banger. Not Like Us is a banger. Where I bought this shirt from, oh, uh, I ain't gonna lie, I forgot. Oh, uh, but if you look up Hokage University, it'll come up, bro. It'll come up. Just rise through the chart. Like, bro, this man is just like Stink Meter. Thriving with the power of hatred. It's not every day that you see somebody hate another nigga so much that they get a track to just go to the top. Shout out to K. It did go number one. Drip for making it on here, bro. You deserve your spot on hate more. But moving on. The next hater on here is a truly relatable hater. Like, bro, my character is completely based off him. Which I really hope I don't get sued one day for using that. Like, I'm gonna change it when I can. But, bro, Squidward is a relatable hater. Like, bro, it cannot be easy living next oh, to SpongeBob yeah. and Patrick. Them Not two facts. has to be the most annoying niggas on earth. And he facts. lives in between them. And what's worse is it, it follows him to work. Like, most of us. Facts. If, if there's a co worker that we don't like at work, at we can get home. And get away from the nigga. But nah, the moment Squidward goes home, the, the the annoyance is double. Like, bro, you can't be mad at. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Coming from Squidward's standpoint, I, I, boy, I'd have hated this nigga SpongeBob. Like, the older I got, the more I started to relate with, with Squidward. If we be completely honest, all of us did. Cause we all just like, come on, like, calm down. You doing a little bit too much. Like, I get imagination and happiness, but if you don't shut the fuck. You feel me? Like we all can relate to Squiddy. Him for hating at that point. Yeah, here come all y'all in the comments. Oh my God, JP. SpongeBob and Patrick are just trying to have some fun. Why does Squidward has to hate? Yeah, that would be great. Except that they annoy him for no reason. Like, bro, the nigga could just be at home trying to take a bath. And these two asshats will come into his house just to annoy him. Like, bro, I would be hating too if my neighbor just be coming into my house like, like it's their own house. Coming in and fucking up my shit. And, bro, don't even get me started when he goes to work. Like, bro, SpongeBob has one singular job. Go in the back, make the burger, and give it to me to give to the customer. But nah, this nigga will find the most annoying way to do it. Like, bro, why do you have to shove your foot through the damn window, bro? I ain't gonna lie. When you put it that way, bro, it makes sense. If, if bro, we all, we all done had jobs where we working with somebody and we like, yo, I hate this nigga. Genuinely. We have all had jobs. Like, remember I worked at a mall. I was, uh, I worked for, uh, T-Mobile. Worked for T-Mobile. It was a shorty who worked. Worst attitude of all time. I hated her. It was just, she just had a terrible attitude. Now imagine having to deal with that. that uh, something similar, but it lives by you. By all definitions, you have all the right in the world to hate. I ain't gonna lie. Stay your ass in the back and cook a burger and be done. Like, bro, I know a lot of you think I was just gonna sit here and hate on Squidward, but nah, my dog Squidward has a right to be a hater because he lives in between the most obnoxious niggas ever. Anywho, Back. moving on. A lot of you probably do not remember who this is, but if you did watch Johnny Test back in the day, you know who this hating ass nigga is. All right, so we all know who Darth Vader is, right? Great, okay, that's, that's amazing. Well, I would like to introduce to you guys Darth Vader from Wish. Dark Vegan. Oh, yeah, Dark was Vegan. That was his name. That was, that was his name. He's a literal alien from a planet of vegans. And yeah. his whole thing is fucking up other planets so they don't interfere with his beautiful planet. Yeah, and in the process of doing that, this man becomes the number one hater to an 11-year-old. Actually, Johnny has a bunch of haters, and he's one of them. This whole yep. hating ass journey started when he decided to steal all the vegetation from Earth. And Johnny foiled. And ever since then, this nigga has made it his life's mission to hate on Johnny. And did I mention that, like, this nigga loves toast? Like, bro, he would literally kill for toast. Anyway. Isn't toast not vegan, though, chat? Ain't that not vegan? Don't they put eggs? Don't they use eggs to make bread? Like, to make dough? Am I tweaking? Y'all let me know if I'm tweaking. I feel like that's not vegan. I feel like regular bread not vegan. Because Johnny stopped his fucking invasion, he's now stranded on Earth and is forced to get a job. And he hates Johnny. And what's worse is, Johnny is raising up his what daughter, which that? makes him hate Johnny even more. Like, Facts. bro, this grown-ass man will pull up in the middle of the night to off an 11 year old so his ass got bitten by the damn dog nah i feel like if we're gonna talk about a hater i feel like darth vegan cool but bling bling boy is the biggest hater bro i ain't gonna lie to you if, if we talking about from johnny chase it's bling bling y'all hear that he's back it's been a while but he's mowing the lawn again all right bro the final hater that we got on this list it is another 10 year old ladies and gentlemen this is gideon gleeful stanford pines Boy. number one hater gideon is the biggest hater of all time but let's be honest bro let's be honest you're a kid you have the option to be one of the richest people of all time some old dude who's 
a criminal is keeping you from being super rich i'd be a hater too i'd possibly be the biggest hater if i'm being completely honest with you chat unlike johnny who was raising up his haters own daughter gideon has negative risk this little bastard literally has done so many heinous actions trying to get the mystery shack it's not even funny his hatred went from just stan pines to his entire family except for yep. mabel because he's trying to raise up mabel even though he can't he had to resort to kidnap this man done Thanks. destroyed the entire mystery shack tried to off dipper multiple times and let's not forget this nigga's a fraud he got everybody else believing yes. that he's some sort of psychic but just like stan He's a fraud. Yep. Uh, probably even worse than Stan. You ever hate somebody so much that you decided to bring about an apocalypse? This kid was solely responsible for Bill Cipher getting access to Gravity Falls. And during Weird Mageddon, he committed even more heinous crimes. Yep. How much do you have to hate somebody to bring out something like this? This man, Bill, had a chair made of humans. Gideon's short ass need to be thrown. Oh, shit. He was thrown in jail. It's one of the few times. And got out. And got out. He was thrown in jail and got out, bro. Times we can actually celebrate somebody on hate more getting what they deserve. You know, I was going to end the video here, but another hating ass nigga popped into my head as I was recording. And I do not feel like saving him for hate more part nine. So as a surprise hater in this video, I present to you Major Monogram from Phineas and Ferb. This man has no reason to be hating on Doofenshmirtz the way that. Okay, hold on, Twin. Hold on, Twin. Hold on, Twin. Now, now. Now we have, now we have entered, now we have entered the stretch zone. We have entered the stretch zone. Now we have entered the stretch zone. What the stretch zone is, when you just start talking out of your ass, it is a stretch. The same major monogram had no reason to hate on Doofenshmirtz. Good sir, it sound like you never seen the show. Dr. Doofenshmirtz was in fact nefarious, evil, villainous. So by all means, the guy who was trying to take over the tri-state area deserves a bit of hate. You're trying to have people worship you, follow you, and you do whatever you want. You ended up, it, when you actually won in the movie, I think it was the movie, you changed everybody's name so it could be easier for you to remember so they could worship you. The guy deserves the hate, Buckaroonie. He's what we like to call a bad guy. Let's see what he else he got. He, he definitely has an excuse, he, but the, we entered the stretch zone in this. He does. Like, bro, say what you want about Doofenshmirtz and his uh, upbringing, but I don't think he actually wants to take over the world. Like, who in their right? But he did. He did, in fact, take over the world. Mind would put a self-destruct button on a ray gun. Like, bro, the- A uh, idiot. And that wasn't a ray gun. That was a robot with a self-destruct button on its foot. Dude's just long, but, but, but here goes Monogram sending Perry to this nigga's house every two seconds to kick him in the face. Like, bro, sometimes Doofenshmirtz just be sitting there relaxing and this hating. That was only like twice. That was only like twice that he was really just chilling. Ass nigga will call Perry just to go and bother him, acting like a man can't take a fucking day off. Like, bro, why do you hate why? him so much? Why? Like, bro, sometimes why? he literally why? has zero why? probable cause. He'll call Perry and be like, hey, bro, Doofenshmirtz hasn't done anything for like three days. Go and see what he's going on or what he's up to. I Which is oddly suspicious for a dude who is always up to something. Look, man, a lot of the stuff you said in this video, I concur and I agree with. But if you keep lying like this because you on Dr. Doofenshmirtz's payroll, I swear to God, I'll summon Big Raga on you, brother. Because what are we talking about here? You ever thought the nigga might be sick or in the fucking hospital? Like, bro, if you hate the nigga, just say that. You don't have to pretend like you're doing this to save the world or whatever. But yeah, don't be a hater. Like the video, and if you have any suggestions for the next hate more, leave them in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye. All right, chat. Uh, I think for the most part, aside from getting into the stretch zone, that was a W video. Hey man, shout out to him. Shout out to JP. Talk too much. The video, man. Enjoyed it, man. Uh, gotta check out a look the other videos. Uh, other people on the Mount Rushmore of hate more. Um, W video, and uh, yeah, that's that.